Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penj and welcome back to Rimworld where we continue the tale of our ten colonists and their many, many animals and last time out there were a couple of key things that happened. So number one, there was a heat wave, but we did okay with the heat wave. I think everybody came out of the other side of the heat wave sort of okay. We had a few people with heat stroke I think which might have affected them whilst the heat wave was going on, but for the most part, we did okay. I mean, I think it affected some of the animals as well. Did one of the chickens have heat stroke at one point? I do not know, but there we go. So there was a heat wave. We dealt with that okay. And um, there was also a little bit of an incident with some ambrosia. So quite a few of our animals, and Hull, I believe it was, decided to partake of some ambrosia. Now there is a little bit of this ambrosia plant growing in a couple of areas. There's a little bit here, and there is a bit over here to sort of the east. So um, yeah, I was a bit unsure about this, because when I clicked on this, it seems to imply that it's not actually fully grown. But apparently, according to people in the comments, and again, thank you comment section, um, yes, this can grow multiple times. So this ambrosia bush can grow up to 100% grown. They can harvest it and then it can just keep growing. I think they said up to three times. So that must have been what happened. So we've gone and grabbed some of this. It got put into our storage area somewhere. Is that it? No, that's Jade. It got put into here somewhere. I don't think we've got any anymore. And because it was here and it was just a bit of a free-for-all, the animals were coming in, having a little look at it, going, oh, ambrosia, brilliant, this is nice. And yeah, all the animals were getting quite high off of this ambrosia because it's a, a relatively sort of potent drug. So it's all gone now. All the ambrosia is gone. <laughs> so it's all got eaten. Uh, so I think, is Hull now, is Hull having a bit of a problem with this? Yes, you have a... um a small ambrosia tolerance. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. We can deal with that. So when we get some more, we will have to sort that out. We've got to uh, sort out some uh, permissions and things to say, please do not eat the ambrosia, anybody. And we'll lock it away in here so the animals can't come in here and eat it all and all that kind of stuff. So we'll have to deal with that. I suppose the most pressing thing that happened was that this is going to happen to us momentarily. We're going to get attacked by these people just here. And this is quite bad because there's quite a lot of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's eleven of them. There are eleven of these people and there's only ten of us. So we are outnumbered. Yes, we have a base, so we have walls and such like. However, these are sappers and sappers go through the walls. They don't even bother trying to go through the trap corridors. They are clever. They're like, no, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go through your walls. So I don't know how this is going to function. I don't know if they're going to split off into little groups and some of them are going to go over here and some are going to come down here or whatever. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm a little bit as a sort of at a loss as to how to best prepare for this. I'm not entirely sure, but they are on their way. They are on their way. Now, we do have a problem with animal starvation as well. This is also very unfortunate. <laughs> so some of the animals are starving, which obviously we don't want to happen. We do not want the animals to starve whilst we're trying to fight off a great big load of people. We might lose people as it is. I don't want the animals to all die as well, particularly not Paloma, Spikel and Clint. That would be a terrible sort of thing. So what we might do is I notice that in here there is some pemmican. So I think what we'll do is we will move the pemmican up into here. So what we need to do is we need to go to here and yeah, we don't allow pemmican in there. I assume that we allow pemmican in the storage areas, not on that one. In fact, that, we do, do we allow anything on there? That's manufactured. Oh, that's a drug shelf. That's a psychite tea shelf. Of course it is. Right, hang on then. So can we, can we grab, can we grab that? So storage, ah, that allows pemmican. Right, take that off. And then, hang on a minute, then we have to copy the settings. Uh, and then we've got to paste the settings onto all of those, have we? Okay, that's fine. So paste the settings into all of these. So allow everything else you had, except pemmican, please. We do not want you to have the pemmican on there. So do all that. Marvellous. So no pemmican is allowed in here. So that's good. Now what we can do is we have three people that do not fight. They are incapable of violence, which makes the odds against this even harder. <laughs> Because we've got 10 people, three of them just, just do not fight. They just don't like it. So, um, yeah, we're, the odds are very much stacked against us. So what we could do is we could get one of those people. Let's say Redwin. Where are you, Redwin? You're having a little game of chess. Oh, oh, you lot. You do not know what is coming towards you. So how about we get you to haul the pemmican? And hopefully they will put the pemmican in here. Because I'm fairly certain we don't allow it anywhere else. I'm sure we don't allow it in here. No, so I'm hoping they put it in here. So it's going to be in the barn area. And now what we need to do as well, 
we are going to go through to here and into zone and I want to create uh, I want to create a new zone can we create a new zone from in there can we create a new zone manage areas okay right so create a new area let's rename it let's call it barn so we're going to have a barn area we'd like to expand the barn area to just there and then we want all of the animals to go into the barn <laughs> because otherwise the animals might well die the animals might possibly die a bit uh, now however however are we able to have attack animals so how does this work now i've not i've not got any of these follow the master or the master is drafted um yeah is that is release a fighty thing because i think the labradors can go and fight can't they they can haul and they can rescue I assume they can fight, but then that seems to imply that Yorkshire Terriers can fight as well. And I, they, yeah, look, Spikel has been trained to be released. So maybe, I mean, the Yorkshire Terriers are going to be rubbish. The Labradors might be quite good, but they are quite good at hauling and stuff. They, they're quite useful around the place. So let's get everybody in the barn. Let's get all of the animals to go over here. And then we need to draft other people as well. So we hours, you're not going to be fighting. You don't fight. That is absolutely fine. You can come down into here come down into the hospital and help out uh, now ash uh, no it was croc croc was the other one that didn't fight so we'll draft you you can come along into maybe you can come into the hospital as well so you pop along into the hospital so they're doing that redwin is going to be moving this stuff around and now we need to figure out exactly what we're going to do now i i'm i'm really i really don't know how to prepare for this at all in any way shape or form <laughs> very much clueless um what I'm thinking is, I'd love to get Kunik over here to have a few pot shots at them. Because Kunik's quite quick, and she's got a sniper rifle. So hopefully, if we get Kunik just here, she could take a few shots at them, and then as soon as they get within range, she could just run away. So I'm thinking, let's pop Kunik, so draft Kunik. Let's put you just there, Kunik. That could be quite handy. Um, and then, I mean, I don't really know. My, my, my instinct tells me they've appeared here. So it's unlikely they're going to come and sort of blow the walls up down here or down here or whatever. My instinct is they're going to come along this way. They'll ignore this, apparently, because they're sappers. They don't want to go down the traps. So I'm thinking they're going to come through across the top or down here. So I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I do not know. So I think we put a lot of people in here. So Colonel, you've got the fancy, whatever it was, the charge rifle. So Colonel, you come into here. Uh, Beryl the chef, yes, you can come in as well. So let's get you. Uh, Mags, yep, we want to get you. So let's put you there. Um, we could do with that. Is that switched on? Um, yes, I think it's switched on. So that will shoot at people. If they come within range, that will start gunning at people. So that's quite good. Right, Hull. Right, you are close combat -y, Hull. Do we want to put anybody down here? Um, I don't know where they're going to go. <laughs> I don't know where to put people. But what if they do come along this top wall and come through this door or whatever, or come through just here, there'll be nobody over here, which would be bad. How about we put Hull over there, because she's near there anyway, and then Ash. Ash does a bit of fighting. That is a pump shotgun. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. And then Kathy also has a shotgun. Do we want to put Kathy over there? So we've got... Three people here and some just there. Redwing can go and do his hauling and then we'll we'll uh, draft him and put him somewhere safe, probably hiding out in the hospital. So I think we can do all that. If they do make a beeline for down here, we will have to revise our plans. But okay, right. Let's see what's going on here then. I mean, this could just be... <laughs> this could be the end of it. This could be the end of the run, which would be tragic. So yeah, they're, I don't know where exactly they think they're going to go. All the animals are making their way into the barn, which is brilliant. Redwin, I think Redwin, yes, he's already got on the pemmican issue, which is pretty good. Okay, right. They're coming upwards. Yeah, they're, they're going to come in across the top somewhere or along here or whatever. Right, so we've got... Right, hang on. Is everybody in place? Kunik is out here ready to take a few shots, which is, which is beautiful. Good job, Kunik. And then we've got... Kathy, can you move in a bit, Kathy? That would be good. There. So Kathy, Hull, and Ash are just there. And Colonel, let's move Beryl over a bit, just in case they've got um like grenades or something. And then uh, yeah, that might cause some issues. Unhappy nudity. Redwin has just decided to just take off his flag pants. Ah! Because they are at 54% quality. 
So Redwin has just decided he's, he's dropped off some stuff and then he's just going to change his trousers. Okay, right, fine. Okay, Redwin, you you carry on doing that there. Um, can you please get yourself some clothes? Because we're about to be attacked. Okay, now Cunic, Right, are you actually lining up a shot, Cunic? Yes. Oh, this is excellent. Right, if you could get one hit, Cunic, Just one hit would be brilliant on anybody. Because at least that's one little bit of damage that we do not need to worry about. Come on, somebody. Come on, Cunic, Just fire. Oh, Cunic, you're a terrible shot. <laughs> I held a lot of hope for you, Cunic. Okay. Could we get Cunic to just sort of run around the side? And then if they follow her, then just sort of run back in through the doors or whatever. Because Cunic could just go here and just start picking them off from as they're trying to break down the doors. Like, if we could get you... If we could just pick off one person. Oh, no. Okay, right. Hang on. Uh, go there, go here, Cunic. Oh, right. Ah, right. Are you taking down the wall just there? Okay, right. It looks like... Are you doing that? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, they're taking down the wall just here. Okay, so, right. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm very nervous. Um... Okay, I also noticed that Redwin has decided to... Uh, Redwin has donned the, the marine helmet. So the best piece of armour we've got is being worn by someone that currently is cleaning some dirt. Thanks, Redwin. Good job. Um, let's keep Redwin in here. Because I'm thinking that maybe... Maybe we might need to rescue some people. And Redwin might be well-placed to run in and save people. Like a gosh darn it hero. So you run into here... Cunic is now hopefully firing at this person here. Just get a hit, Cunic. Come on now. Ooh, we've hit somebody. We've hit a person, which is good. I will take that. I will take a hit on anybody. That is damage caused. Okay. Are they going to come through? Now, the only problem is we're... Hang on a minute. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're the, that's, we're the wrong side of the barriers. We need a bit down here. That's somewhat shoddy <laughs> barrier management there. Okay. They are through. They are through the defences. Okay, Cunic. Uh, right, hang on. Have your shot, Cunic, and then we'll move you. Oh, there's micromanagement ahoy. Right, which way are they heading? They're coming through this way. Do we want to send this lot up here? We should be able to take on one person, I would have thought. Right, Cunic's had their shot. Right, Cunic, move, move over to sort of here, maybe. There's a tree. There's a tree for you to hide behind. Right, Ash. Shoot, shoot. Oh, no, you can't shoot them yet. You can't reach. Kathy, can you reach? No, not quite yet. They're both going that way. Right, hang on. Move time on a little bit. Ah, no, these people are coming this way. Oh, <laughs> that's a couple of shots coming in. Oh, oh, ah, uh, nip. You might well get a little bit. Oh. <laughs> you lot. You need to go back to target practice school. Can we not aim at anything? Our lot of, we're all terrible. Right, okay. Uh, if they all coming this way, we will shoot at them there. I'm a little bit concerned about these guys. If they all pour in this side, I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, right. Shoot. Oh, I nip. But how can you miss? They're right in front of you. Right. Okay. Hull, get on it. Get on. Oh, I nip, please. Right. Okay. What is going on over here? Beryl is having a shot at somebody. Is Kunik? Are they firing at Kunik? Kunik is ready to take a shot. Ash and Hull have been damaged. Uh, we must be able to take these people out. They're stood in front of our faces. Please shoot them very much. Okay, so we'll see what they do. They're having a chat. That's nice. Right, Cunic, Cunic is still lining up a shot. I'm a bit concerned that they're not doing anything down here. Right, everybody move up here. Tally-ho, this way. Right, another hit. Another hit on Morales, which is good. Um... Oh, stunned. Somebody is stunned. So Oanip is stunned. So everybody concentrate on Melton. Um, oh, Hull. <laughs> Hull, is, Hull is not looking too healthy. Hull is not looking good. Right. One of them is down. One of them is down. However, Hull is very, very much poorly. In fact, is Hull going over? Is Hull dying? I'm not sure. Right. Ash, you, uh, you're just going to have to maybe take a step back. You fire at them. Uh, what's Cunic doing? Cunic is taking another shot. That's fine. And then in come the gosh darn heroes at the end here. So let's see if we can get in here. Now they've all got the, a lot of them have got melee weapons. These guys are quite stabby. Have they got anyone with any guns? No, they've all got stabby weapons. 
Okay. Right, so hang on. Beryl will have a shot just there. Um, I think Hull is very, very much going to go out. I think Hull is... Hull might fall. This might be the end of Hull. We need to get a shot in on Ohoahnip. Right, okay. This is looking good. Can we back off a little bit, though, please, folks? Back off, back off, Beryl. Run. Oh, dear. Col yeah, Hull's gone. Hull has gone. Okay, not dead. Not dead needs rescue. Okay. However, it's now three versus two down here. We could do... <laughs> We could do with killing somebody. If we could hit you, that would be marvellous. Okay. Everybody fire at this person and shoot them in the face. Shoot them very much now, please. Oh, this is all going horribly wrong. Oh, no. They're running away. Ah, this... Okay, right. This is good. This is good. In the meantime, Redwin, you come here. You rescue Hull right the heck now. Let's have a look at what Hull's doing. No immediate danger, but you can get rescued. Right. In the meantime, can you fire at them, please? Oh, you you these are just they're terrible shots. Um uh oh, Beryl is down. Beryl is down. Oh, okay. Right. Let let's try and run you into here. Maybe I can lure them over to the thing. Right. Cunic is not doing anything. A grizzly bear is hunting Hull. <laughs> really? Is now the time? Is now the time for this? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Right, okay. So a grizzly bear is hunting Hull, who is lying there prone. Um, right? I don't know really what to do with that. It's all looking bad here. Cunic is just standing around now, not doing anything. Let's try and get Cunic to come this way. You lot need to run possibly behind these barriers. Could we get you to run down here near the shooty gun? That would be very handy. I think mags might go down. I think mags might be struggling. Um, pirates from the Demon Vampires have decided who uh, to kidnap who they can and leave. I'm not really happy with that. We've got three people down. They're not going to get Hull. So they're not going to kidnap Hull. So it's going to be between Beryl and mags. I am... No, 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 no. You, you, you're not kidnapping our people. Absolutely. Flipping well not, thank you. We are going to kill you lot, because you lot are all horrid. Right, you come here. We will... Uh, look, if they're going to go out the hole they came in, we can just fire at them. Right, okay. Colonel, you've got the fancy gun. Please shoot them. <laughs> they're not leaving. They're not leaving at all. They're staying here very much. Right, can we kill Beatrice? We must be able to kill Beatrice. Here comes a bear. <laughs> There's a bear. For goodness sake. Right, okay. So, so a bear has just wandered in. Colonel, oh, Colonel is absolutely and utterly outnumbered. Colonel is going to go down. Colonel might put, this might be the end of Colonel. Oh dear. Can you run, Colonel? Can you run a tiny bit? <laughs> we've got we've got not many people left. It's Ash and Kathy against the bear. Right, one of them is dead. So we've taken another one down. They are running off with Beryl. But Cunic, you can surely stop that, can you not? Can you not deal with that? And then you could try and kill this person. So you aim that person. Come on, come on now. Right, is that Colonel down? Colonel needs rescue. Beryl is down. Oh, has he dropped Beryl? Oh, hang on. Hang on. Did you just deal with that person just there? Yes. Right. Beryl is down and needs a bit of rest. Oh, there's Beryl. Okay. Right. This is this is all excellent. I don't know who is where anymore. There's two people just that Cunic is injured as well. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, Colonel is trying to run away. Um, okay. Right. Come on. Take out the... There is a bear just here. I mean, I feel like the bear should also... <laughs> Should have to be getting some attention. But no, the bear is just quite happily standing there. Um, dodged. Okay, I don't really know what's going on with them anymore. Colonel is indeed down. Um, the animals have decided to break from their pen. Why are the animals coming out? What's going on there? Why have the animals decided that now is... Oh, they're being... Oh, the animals are being killed a little bit. Okay. So currently we have Cunic. <laughs> Cunic, Ash, and Kathy, and that is it. That is all we have. And there's a bear, a bear that probably wants to kill us as well. If the bear is not doing anything right now, which is pretty good. So if we can just concentrate on just killing people, for goodness, how can you miss? How on earth can you miss? Right, okay. Q 
Kill them. Kill them a lot. They are fleeing. They are fleeing. Oh my goodness me. I mean, I think they might have possibly, they might be killing our animals, which is very unfortunate, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not too much of a tragedy. They are running away because we have got you, Kirchen. Right, you're in pain, you're alive. <gasps> you're actually alive. You're gonna die in eight hours. I mean, do we care? Um, yeah, actually, you're, uh, yeah, you are a bit rubbish actually, but you're kind, you're a masochist. Yeah, I don't really want any more people. I think 10 is the optimum amount of people we've got. 10 is working very well. Okay, now what happens when I undo that? Right, hang on. <laughs> I suspect they might now need to kill the the bear. The female grizzly bear is... Oh, it's not cross anymore because it killed this person instead. It killed Beatrice. <laughs> so the bear was useful in the end. But now it's just going to be within our walls. Okay, right. I'm, I'm completely baffled as to what is happening. Where's... Right, okay, so... <laughs> So Hull is being taken care of, which is lovely. Right, wee hours, go and rescue Colonel, your your buddy Colonel. Um, and Redwin, Redwin, is Redwin doing the rescuing? Hang on, Redwin's doing the rescuing, so who else isn't doing anything? Right, Croc. So we've got ourselves Colonel, and we've got ourselves Hull. Okay, so Colonel and Hull are being dealt with. Beryl and Mags. Right, who needs more immediate attention? No immediate danger. And Mags is downed. But Mags is just in pain shock. Oh, okay, right. So Mags might be okay. So let's go to Croc and see what we can do here. So Beryl. Rescue Beryl. So Colonel, Beryl and Mags need rescuing. I think that is what they're going to do. We, however, are not going to let these baddies off. We're not just going to let them walk out of the door. They've come here and caused us all sorts of terrible issues. So we're going to stand just here. Just give them a little greeting as they go. We will just see... Oh, hang on a minute. I thought it said they were fleeing. They are not fleeing. They are instead murdering our animals and breaking our walls down. Right, hang on. Right, kill Von. Let's kill Von. Right, headshot on Von. Our animals might die. I'm very sorry if you if you're all dying down here. <laughs> I apologise. Um, also, we've sent we sent somebody to rescue Colonel. Come on, kill Von. One more shot on Von. It should be done. Von is very tough. Von is fantastically tough. Right, kill Von. Kill Von. Oh my goodness me. Yes. Okay. Right. Von is down. Have we got to kill them all? Redfoot is down. What happened to you? Nobody's attacking you. Did one of the animals fight back? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where's the where's the thing? How do you find out what happened? Um, a log. Bruise in the shoulder. Arjun smashed Redfoot with his left hoof. <gasps> oh, you hero. <laughs> oh, a Brexit isn't well. A Brexit is not well. Wukunik has got tattered clothes. I don't think that's our top priority right now. Let's be honest. Right, you come here, Cunic, get over here as well. So you two are now, there's just two of you left and you're trying to break the doors, the walls down. Let's just kill them. They are utterly terrible shots. It'd be lovely if we could shoot them properly. Right, Cunic, have a couple of shots, Cunic. Right, another one bites the dust. And you're just now being stubborn. You're just being <laughs> willfully disobedient and not running away. Okay, right, hang on. Let's go and have a look in here. What's going on with beds? Right, wee hours. Become normal. Colonel, how long have you got left? Eight hours. Right. Um, already tending to Colonel. Marvellous. Okay. Uh, let's, let's let wee hours do her amazing doctoring work. We need to get rid of... Oh my goodness me. There's three of you. We are terrible at shooting. <laughs> we are just terrible. Right. Get in here. There you go. Right. Well done. <laughs> Just a just a quick smack to the face of the back of a gun and it's fine. Right. I mean, this could have gone better. It could have gone better. Um, are any of them alive? I think I think we've got them all. I genuinely think they're all gone. One, two, three. That's the third one. That's their fourth. That's their fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. We've taken out. 11 of them <laughs> with with a bit of help from a cow that is 
That is exceptionally exciting. Oh, well done, us. Right, however, now we need to help all of the other ill people. So, right, go go and rescue Mags. Mags needs a bit of rescuing. Also, we could do with, yeah, allow them to fix the hole in the wall, please. That would be lovely. If we could plug the hole in the wall, that would be great. Um, okay, and that one as well. Allow that. Um, and then we want to get... Who else is actually on their feet? Not many people. Croc is... Uh, Croc is just standing. Right, okay. So, Croc, you are... You're going to put on a helmet. No, 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 no. I don't think you need to do that. You need to capture Redfoot the Explorer because they are conscious. I don't think anybody else is alive. I think all the other ones are very, very dead. So, okay, right, marvellous. Do you know what? I'm... I'm quite proud. <laughs> I am quite proud. I mean, okay, we took a bit of a battering. And, you know, I said, oh, 10 people's optimum. If Redfoot is any good at actually at fighting, oh, <laughs> I was going to say, it'd be lovely if we had another person who was good at shooting. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not so interested in the old, uh, the old shooting there. Um, yeah, we'll capture you. And we'll probably just sort of send you away. That'll be fine. We'll just we'll just make you go away. Okay, um, Kathy, let's undraft you. You're also going to go and put on a helmet. I mean, it's a good idea. Maybe we need to get people healed up and sort of and all the animals tended to and what have you. Right, rescue a Brexus. <laughs> Got Kathy doing that. Right, Ash, you undraft, and Ash. Uh, can you, can you do anything? I cannot prioritise. Oh, uh, yeah. Tend to, to the animals. You tend to the animals. Cunic, you're rescuing Mags. Okay, right. Is everybody doing something? Uh, I know Redwin's now just stood there. Right, Redwin, you're going to go and have some food. Yeah, priorities, priorities, my good sir. Um, how about you? Do we need anybody else? Can we just go and tend to one of the animals? Uh, yeah, ten to Arjun, the hero. That's but Arjun. Arjun killed someone. <laughs> Arjun killed a person. That's brilliant. Okay, so you're coming in here. So let's hope that you are actually okay. So they're all healing up, which is marvellous. Somebody should be going into there to get Redfoot. We need to fill in the hole in the wall because yeah, the animals are going to come in. Oh, Emily's there. Oh, oh, now, now, hang on a second. Um. Oh. <laughs> I'd love it if one of them was brilliant at shooting, but no. How long is it? Oh, you're going to die in a day. We could just leave you there. And you can just think about the silly thing you just did. Okay, right. Is everybody in the hospital? We hours is treating Colonel. Okay, marvellous. Is anybody else going to die? No immediate danger. Death in 22 hours for Beryl. So I imagine, is we hours now going to go and do that? Are you going to go and sort that out? You're tending to a Brexit. Hang on. Hang, oh, hang on. Actually, thinking about it, is a Brexus near to death? Uh, four hours. Oh, yeah, right, yes. You actually need to get on with that, please. A Brexus is no longer incapable of walking. Oh, are you being tended to? Death in four hours. Here comes the doctor slash vet slash all-round excellent person is everything. Right, wee hours. Runs in. And, yeah, does that and hopefully saves the day. So you should be not actually bleeding to death anymore, hopefully. Uh, death in six hours. Yay. <laughs> okay. We've still got animal starvation. Max Master is is quite hungry. So after all that, we might lose an animal to, to starvation. Um, is there any food? Is there any food that they can have? Um no one's going to be working on that, are they? No one's going to be working on that at all. We've got no rice stored in there. There's a bit of rice just there. There's five rice <laughs> just here. I mean, do we just say go out and eat the rice? There's 16 rice there. Could we? Uh, hang on, hang on. Animals. Max Master, where are you? We don't want to lose any of these. So how about dogs outside? Max Master... Go and eat that rice. I'm sure you will work that out, Max Master. Minor break risk times too. Ash and wee hours are at the risk of breaking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a there's a reason why you might be breaking a little bit and you might be a bit stressed. That's because we just got attacked and loads of our people are <laughs> badly injured. Uh, right, you're fine. Beryl. Beryl is somebody we do need to tend to. So wee hours, when you've finished looking after all the animals, can you... 
Get on with looking after all of the humans. Okay, right. That's that done. Kathy's just gone back to just, <laughs> just, just doing this. Can you haul some dead bodies, please? Oh, hang on. You're unconscious. Oh, we should possibly not just leave you there. You're dead, the cave kid. You're actually not dead. That could be troublesome. Um, again, you're not very good at shooting or melee either. Um, we've only got we've only got two beds in here. I mean, I suppose we could make them share beds. I guess. Um, uh, Redwin is a uh, Redwin's going to be doing food. Kathy, can you can you not make sculptures? Can you go and capture this person, please? We'll go and capture some people. That might be quite good. And then we need somebody to go and deal with the corpses. <laughs> there's, there's quite a lot of corpses everywhere. So we could do, do with somebody going to uh, deal with that as well. Croc is actually getting on with some useful stuff. You're harvesting plants. But that's nice. Right now, can you go and capture Emily the blacksmith? So you pop out there and capture that person. Right, so you're going to get Emily the blacksmith. So we've got ourselves a... A number of captives there. Um, Abraxas is no longer here, but medical emergency. Oh, oh dear. Two hours. We hours? Uh, oh, you're tending to Kirchen as it is. Okay, good. Run in and give them the rubbish medicine. You will suffer a little bit, Kirchen. Right, you're bringing in another person. So Emily is coming in. Okay, let's get you dealt with. Right, okay. Are you now going to bleed to death? Still two hours. Hmm. <laughs> Possibly should... Ah, five hours. Yay. Right, okay. So that's being sorted. Right. I think we can move time on a bit now and things should be going as normal. <laughs> I like the fact that in the middle of that, there was an angry bear. Oh, a bear is going to eat one of your people that's really badly injured. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Rimworld. <laughs> Do you know what? Rimworld was so nice to us for so long. This is what it was building up to, wasn't it? This is exactly what it was building up to. So, um, yeah, there you go. Thanks, Rimworld. Thanks a bunch. Right, let's grab all these things. There's so much stuff lying around as well. Also, we do want to get the um, the decent weapons indoors. We do want to get all those weapons back indoors that our people have dropped, like the charge rifle and all that lot, because we want them to be to be inside, because otherwise they're going to deteriorate. In fact, is anybody doing it? Kathy is... Kathy's asleep. Right, Kathy... Uh, prioritize, can we haul that? Oh, you never do hauling. Oh, for goodness sake. Redwin's gone back to bed. <laughs> You've queued up the moving of those people. Um, Cunic, yeah, we don't want to do anything with Cunic. Croc is still hauling people. Um, okay, who do we want to get to? Cunic? Do you know what? You don't do hauling either, do you? You do not do hauling either. Ah, oh, goodness me. Ash is injured. <laughs> right, Mags. <gasps> Mags is able to move. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Kirchen is still not very well. And Cunica Mags need a bit of treatment. But everything is everything is looking promising. It's all looking a little bit better than it was. Right, okay. Move time on a little bit quicker. Let's just see what people are doing. Right, Hull is back on her feet as well. Oh, this is oh, this is brilliant. It's only Colonel. It's only Colonel who actually needs to be here. Everyone else can go and heal up a little bit. A little bit in their own beds and what have you. Okay, this is wonderful. Also, can we hours go to bed? Yes. Ash is fully healed. Okay, you're you're cooking a simple meal. I would prefer it, Ash. If you could go and do... Oh, you never do all either. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. You lazy bunch. Um, Redwin. I know I've told you to go and haul all those people. Can I get you awake? Um, and then can I get you to actually haul these weapons instead? So haul that uranium mace, and then we want to haul our decent weapon. So haul that thing, and haul that thing, and haul that thing. And then when you've done that, do these bodies, please, and then you can go and have a little sit down. <laughs> there we go. Ah, crikey. Right, okay, okay. Move time on. Hunter lacks a ranged weapon. It's fine. We'll sort all this stuff out. Kirchen is still a bit of a medical emergency. Why is that? Um, I think you're all right. Severe illness? Uh, I mean, yeah, okay, you've got some psychotic addiction. You've got extreme blood loss, and you're quite badly injured. But that's fine, isn't it? Right, hang on a minute, is that bill on? Cremate corpse forever, yes. Okay, right, so we'll get rid of their corpses as well. <laughs> Soon enough. And we've got the three captives. Okay, hole in the wall. Bit of an issue. 
Redwin is getting sad from walking past all of the corpses. But um, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to deal with those. So hopefully Ash is going to have a little lie down. Colonel, let's just check how you are doing. No risk of death or anything. No. So you just you're just quite badly injured. You're just quite badly hurt. Um, okay. Right. Move time on nice and quick. Let's see what's happening. Right. Colonel is back on her feet. Colonel is just hard as nails. <laughs> well done. A uh, refugee chased at Pengistown. A mathematician named Sarsum calls you from nearby. She is being chased. That's, that's so many women in our RimWorld run. Um, she is being chased by tribespeople from that place. Um, at the group. <laughs> I think we're going to completely ignore this message. You should accept you'll have to fight off three archers, four hunters, two penitents, and two warriors. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've just fought off 11 people and we barely survived. I'm very sorry, Sarsum. You're going to have to scream down the thing at me. Uh, I apologise. I'm really sorry. Cheerio. I hope everything goes better for you. Um, the animals uh, also can um, come outside. Animal starvation spike. So yeah, let's put the dogs into the dogs outside zone. Uh, the hens can go into the cluck zone. And then everyone else can just go back out into where the muffalo roam. Yay. Right. There we go. <laughs> so they can go wandering if they want to, which is lovely. Beryl is... Uh, oh, Beryl's doing some medics duties. Oh, well done, Beryl. Oh, that's good. And I think all of our weapons are indoors. Yeah, okay, good. This is good. Uh, still hauling a few bodies around the place. That's fine. As long as the bodies are actually down here. And then we need somebody to go and dispose of the bodies. So I think... Is that all of the bodies? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Some of the bodies are missing their heads again. Who's been eating their heads? Has one of the animals been nibbling on the um, nibbling on the bodies? Because Nathan the worker doesn't seem to have a head, and neither does Beatrice the computer, unless we shot them off. In which case, <laughs> that's fine. I think what's happened is the animals have gone out and thought, oh, delicious, a nice source of meat. You, Spikel, what have you been doing? You've been nuzzling Colonel. How's your food requirements? Yeah, you've got quite a lot of food. <laughs> I think they've been eating the uh, eating the corpses again. Do you know what? Whatever. It's fine. Yeah, look. <laughs> Clint. Clint is eating a corpse. As Clint is very hungry. So let's see. How much food does that give Clint? Oh, a lovely little bit. Oh, you know what? There's probably another leg on there. <laughs> Just snack on that, would you? Marvellous. Right. Um, everybody's sort of up and about again. Everybody is up and around. I mean, some of them are a little bit, yeah, worse for wear. Mags, Beryl, Colonel and Cunic and oh even Hull um, are a little bit poorly but it's fine. They're alive. They're not at the risk of you know horrific death or anything. They're not going to bleed out or whatever. So they're all alive. <sighs> oh my goodness me. Right. Do you know what it, the first thing we're going to do? The first thing we're going to do is put some sides onto these sandbag areas. Because these ones in the corners are silly. Because if someone comes through here and we're in this sandbag thing, then there's no, nowhere for us to hide. So uh, what we'll do is... I can't remember where it is. I cannot even remember where the sandbags are. Uh, security. Yes, sandbags. So we'll just create maybe a bit like that, like that. Um, and then a bit sort of like that. Give an extra space. We can get one, two, three, four people across. So that's quite handy. And then we'll do the same just here as well. <laughs> just, just in case. Just in case something terrible happens. Okay. Right. Take a deep breath. Everything is looking fine. We need somebody, some brave volunteer. Oh, you're feeding rice or something at the moment. That's absolutely fine. We have ourselves three prisoners. Now, let's go down to prisoner. What do we want to do with these people? We are going to have to feed them. So we are going to have to make sure we've got extra food. So we may need to go out and do a bit of hunting. What have we got there? 48 turkey meat and 32 simple meals. I mean, this corn would be very handy if that were to emerge anytime soon. That would be lovely. Um, so yeah, so we haven't got lots and lots of resources to make food. We could go, we could go hunting. There's some stuff over here that we could go and grab. So maybe we'll go and do a little bit of hunting at some point. So what do we want to do with you? Now, what I'm thinking is... Um, I think it was mentioned in a couple of uh, many videos ago. I think a few people did in the comments say you should keep the prisoners for as long as possible because your people go in and talk to them and it improves their social skill. So maybe, maybe we will just put 
reduce resistance. Let's just bring their resistance down. So everybody's resistance can come down. They've only got 12 and you've got 27. Okay. And do we want to keep any of these people? You are terrible. <laughs> you are sensationally terrible. So yeah, we're not going to keep you. We saw you before, didn't we? Kirchen um, is okay. And Emily is sort of okay. I love that there's no intellect. I love that no intellect at all. So <laughs> How do you how do you go through life? How do you do anything? Um, so you're incapable of intellectual and firefighting. Oh, ah, because you're a pyromaniac. Right, we don't want to keep you. Kirchen is a kind, uh, masochistic, um, ascetic. I can't remember how that people have probably told me how to say that. But yeah, I don't, I'm not really I'm not really up for keeping you either. And then you're a you're a trigger happy, chemically interested misandrist person i don't think we want any of them i don't think we want to keep any of these people i think we give them all back nicely you know we get them back onto their feet we send them away that will increase relations with that faction and they might stop sending people to kill us which would be ideal and i noticed the hole in the wall has been filled by who else <laughs> by wee hours of course it is okay um we could do uh, with that hole in the wall being sorted as well. But do you know what? It's fine. We've got that one sorted. I'll absolutely take it. And now all that unpleasantness is out of the way. All the fighting has stopped and what have you. We can go through my little checklist of things that people have said we should do in the comments. <laughs> it seems it seems a little bit late. We normally do this first. This is normally the first thing we do in a video part. I go through and I make a few little tweaks and changes that people have said I should do in the comments. But of course, yes, we had to deal with a load of people trying to come and kill us in the face. So now we can go through and have a look at this stuff. So the first thing we're going to look at is the priorities of these uh, sort of uh, food areas. So this one here, um, how about we put the priority in here of low? So we say that's low. And then this one here is normal priority. Because yes, apparently they were storing rice in here and not over here. So for someone that was cooking food, they were having to walk all the way through here, pick up a bit of rice, walk all the way back. Obviously, it's a lot easier if the rice is stored in here. That would be far simpler. So we'll put the rice into here. Now, do we have to do that on every shelf as well? Now, the priority of that is important. That's quite good. So, okay, so the priority here can be maybe preferred. And then in there, well, then there we could just put that back to normal then. There we go. So preferred and normal. And then that one can be, that one can be normal. And that one can be preferred. And that one can be preferred as well. Why the heck not? There we go. So there are sort of main sort of food storage area type things. So that's that sorted, which is good. So we've got that done. So fridge priorities are done. We do need to put another one of those coolers in, but I don't think we'll do it now because it's the middle of the summer and that's probably quite bad. We'll let lots of hot air in and it would all be sorts of troublesome. So we won't do that right now. We are going to go and have a look at melting down some of the... We've got these knives that we don't need. We just don't need knives. We, I don't think we want anybody to have any knives. A steel gladius sounds exciting. So what we're going to do is, in the electric smelter just here, we are going to go through... We're going to add a bill to uh, smelt a weapon. So we're going to smelt the weapons. Um, no, no, destroy weapons, not smelt weapons. Destroy weapons. And then can we go through into the details of this? Right, how do we how do we do this? So smeltable and non-smeltable. Right, it's not a ranged weapon, so none of those. Melee weapons. So no club. Oh, no, actually, yeah. Do you know what? We'll get rid of clubs. I don't care about clubs. Gladius is Iqua's knives. We'll keep long swords. We'll keep maces and any any uh, spears we can melt down and get rid of. So we'll keep long swords and we'll keep maces. Everything else we will get rid of. So we will just destroy all of these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and check <laughs> just to see that that's the right thing. So destroy weapon. We are allowing no. We don't want range weapons. So don't destroy any range weapons and of the melees. Get rid of all the clubs. Or the glaive. Do you know what? We might be able to sell that, though. We might be able to sell that. Um, the clubs are just that we can get rid of. Don't really care. And the knives. Now, the knives are only because we have that plasteel knife. Is that it? We can melt that down and get some plasteel out of it, which is always useful. So hopefully someone will come in and just start destroying all of those little knives and things that we've got. Because that would be quite handy. I guess that's another thing that was on the list. <laughs> 
Oh dear. And the final thing, really, the important thing that we need to look at is um is in here. So in the drug policy, so in tea and beer, can we say that you're not allowed that that stuff? How do we say you're not allowed the the ambrosia? Um, yeah, don't I, forbidden, 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 forbidden. I don't really understand. How do we forbid it? Uh, can we say forbidden? I like frequency every twenty five days. Uh, never. I want you to say never. How do I forbid something? I'm not entirely sure how I do that. I, mean, I don't know what they are. Usage for addictions, for recreation, scheduled. But yeah, so ambrosia would be banned for that and banned for that. And now Hull only had a binge on it, didn't she? Hull had a binge on it. But they're not having it normally because they're restricted by these. So what we need to do is, we need to say in this, uh, I don't know which one it was in, in here, don't store ambrosia, because <laughs> it's dangerous. So yeah, in fact, don't store any of the drugs in there. None of that stuff, please. Um, in fact, you can store that there, that's fine. Um, I don't know what that is, that sounds horrific. Go juice and flake. So you can store the panoxycline in there, although really it should kind of go in here. Is that not what that shelf's for? Um, oh no, that shelf was for bionic parts, wasn't it? Of course it was. Um, maybe we should put the panoxycline or whatever it is in here as well. So we don't have many bionic parts. So we could say that could go in there and then remove it from here. So don't put any drugs in there. I imagine drugs are off for that one. They're off for that one. And then in here, let's say, yes, you can put psychite tea. You can also put all of these other things in. So yes, we'll put all of those things in, please. Including the ambrosia. Um, and the beer. Where, where have we been putting beer before? Where have we been placing beer? Are we allowing beer in here? Oh, that's the beer fridge. Okay, do you know what? That's fine. We won't put beer into this one. So this thing can hold the ambrosia. It can hold flake. Go juice. <laughs> it sounds like something. Uh, yeah, obviously, yes, it's a drug thing, but yeah, it sounds like a kid thing. Hey, do you want to drink some go juice and get up and go? So yeah, so there's go juice. Luciferum sounds terrible. Penoxycycline. Uh, we'll yeah, we'll we'll not store that in there because that can go back down to the hospital. Psychite tea, yes. Yeah, smoke leaf joints, yeah, whatever. Wake up and yeah, oh right, okay. That's that sorted. So now there should be some people moving stuff around and what have you. I can cross a few things off of our list. So we've dealt with the knife. We've um, we've dealt with the ambrosia. And we've dealt with the fridge priorities. We're not going to do that. Yeah, so we've sort of... We've I've not exactly forbid the ambrosia. But we're going to move it into here so the animals can't get it when we acquire some. So that's good. Uh, the final thing we need to look at is the manufacturing. I think it was on here of the flak pants. So we said, make 12 flak pants. I always ensured that we have 12 flak pants. But apparently in here, I've said, look everywhere. So when we have, uh, when there's uh, less than 12 flak pants, we need to make some more. But our people, as it was pointed out in the comments, thank you comment section, um, our people have the clothing condition thing on that means that when their clothing gets to 50, well, 54% uh, or lower, um, they'll take it off and go and find something else to put on. But obviously, if we're not, uh, if, we're, if we're not counting that into our sums here, then um, yeah, they're going to be taking off their flak pants. But because this thing is still going, yeah, it's a pair of flak pants. Great. You've not got them on. I don't care about your restrictions. It's a pair of flak pants. Um, so there's going to be nothing for them to wear. So I think we need to up that to there. So yes, currently have five out of 12 that meet those criteria just there. So there must be... Oh, I think he took some off, didn't he? In the middle of battle. There you go. So these ones here, 54%. So yeah, so they're going to be no good. But they do not count now toward our total. So they are not quality enough to count toward the 12 that we want to have manufactured. Okay, right. That's that done. That is good. I have just noticed there's a sticky out bit of wall here. Do we need that? Is that in place for some... For roofing reasons or something? I think it is. Roofs can go six squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three... Do you know what? Why don't we just destroy, just deconstruct that and deconstruct that. I think that should be fine in terms of ceiling. Um, hang on, right, hang on. Now I'm paranoid all of a sudden. Why have we got that in? So is there an area one, two, three, four, five, six? So like this area here, this tile, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just a bit paranoid that if we do that and the roof falls in and I kill a load of our people, that's going to be a really rubbish way for people to die. If we've just survived this great big, <laughs> this great big onslaught and and we did well, I think it would be a very, very sad state of affairs if we were to die with the roof falling on our heads. So I'm just going to try and work out. Yeah, so, so these tiles here are within six. They're all fine. They're all within six of here or here, I assume. Yeah, I think we're fine to take them out. I think we're fine to remove those. And that just gives us a little bit more storage space. That thing can just, you know, have an extra two squares and that would be lovely. Oh my goodness me. So there is a psychic drone and it is very, very bad for all of the female colonists, which is a shame because eight of the ten colonists we have are female. So they are going to have their moods negatively impacted whilst this drone thing is underway. Okay, another thing we're going to do is to set up a little order to make some cowboy hats. <laughs> Yeehaw! Because it's summertime and lots of people have either got helmets on, which is fine because, yeah, we did just have a fight and helmets would be handy. But these ones here, four of them, I think, have got on the sort of the cloth two cat things, which is the stuff you'd put on in winter not summer. So these things are better for the summer. Apparently cowboy hats are very, very good. They keep the heat off you. They keep heat stroke down as well. I think somebody in the comments said, I guess because of the big wide brim. So um, so yeah, we're going to get some cowboy hats done. So we will, uh, we'll, we've will we got none at the minute. So we'll make 12 of them. I don't care what they're made out of. I am not to bother. Make them out of whatever you can. They were probably made out of camel hair because we seem to have quite a lot of that. And we're going to do the thing here that we did with the flat pants. So when they uh, are 55% or more, then and, um, count them into your equations but if they're lower than 55% then yes we definitely need to make some more to make sure we have 12 that are 55% or more in terms of hit points because otherwise yeah they'll take them off when they deteriorate and then we won't be making any more for them to put back on so um, yeah so that's that sorted as well so that's quite good and um, the corn is growing a little bit 65% will that be done by the end of the summer because, um, yeah, we've got, well, we've got, what, six more days of summer, I think, including the one we're on. So maybe they will be done by the end of the summer. That would be very, very good. Let's just go and do a quick check on our animals. Redfoot has gone berserk. This will, oh, okay, right. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, right. Where are you going? You're fleeing. Yes, I think that's probably a good idea. Oh, no, yes, of course, it would be affecting our um, prisoners as well. Hopefully, we hours can get out of here before Redfoot goes a bit crazy. Oh, shut the doors. Oh, <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was going to be a bit of a problem there. Now, do we need to go and restrain Redfoot? Do we need somebody tough to go and restrain Redfoot? Like, I don't know how we do this. Oh, you're never going to do the cleaning. How do we... Can we not, um, oh, hang on a minute. I know what it is. Yeah, if you get ash, where's ash? Oh, you're cooking a meal. Who's not doing anything? You're cleaning dirt. Oh, Redwing can't get violent. Oh, my goodness me. Ash. Yeah, you're cooking a meal. I just checked you, didn't I? Kathy is asleep. I don't want to interrupt somebody's sleep. Um, we ours is running away. Kunik is, Kunik's asleep. Oh, wow. Uh, Okay, right, hang on. Let's let Ash finish this meal. Ash is a chef. Ash is very good at cooking meals. Oh, they're knocking the door down. They're knocking the door down. <laughs> this, this could be an issue. Uh, yeah, the wooden door is not going to last. Right, Ash, you need to be drafted. You need to get down here. You need to... Uh, are we going to have to go and attack you? I don't really want to have to go and attack you, but you know what? We'll have to just get on with it, I think. Right, and also we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna haul Colonel in as well. Colonel, get over here, please. In fact, if you could both be sort of over there, that would be great. Because that door's not gonna hold. That door is not gonna hold forever. Oh, hang on. Redfoot might have got bored of attacking the door. Redfoot might have got bored. Are you gonna attack Emily instead? Because that would be not Oh right, okay, dokie, right. I see where we are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, in you come. In you come, you two. Okay, and we're going to have to take you out. Um, Redfoot, I do not want to have to kill you. Uh, and also, that's fortunate that we don't want to kill you because we're terrible shots. Oh, Colonel hasn't got a weapon. <laughs> Colonel, go and pick up your super weapon. Go and pick up your phase rifle or whatever the heck it's called. The charge rifle. Go and pick that up. <laughs> yeah, that didn't turn out well, did it? Right, okay. Redfoot's berserk rage has come to an end. Okie doke. 
<laughs> right. Okay, let's capture you again. Let's go and capture Redfoot a second time. There we go. <laughs> Put you back in your bed. I imagine I have to do that thing again, do I? Oh no, it's still on it's still on uh, reduced resistance. Okie dokie. And the last thing we are going to do is just queue up some hunting priorities. So yes, we will have all of these things. Squirrels, rats, um, Ibex rams. Yeah, we'll take a few of those. Ibex does. Yes, please. So we'll have all of those lovely things. Where is that bear? It's kind of lurking around outside. However, I feel like I shouldn't go and kill this bear because it did help us in the fight against those, those sort of uh, raiders that came in. So I'd feel a bit bad if we went and killed the bear. I think that might be a bit of a poor showing there. You know, it, you know, it lacks it lacks a little bit of respect there because the bear did help us. It would lack courtesy. So we will let you live, bear. We'll go and get some other stuff done instead. Oh, Spike of the Yorkshire Terrier is starving. Yes, of course, we're struggling to get this stuff done. We're struggling to make um, the uh, whatever they the kibble stuff because we've not got the right amount of ingredients. So um, yeah, okay. What have we got? Have we got. We've got ourselves 19 rice. We might be able to make one bit of it, possibly. So, yeah, we'll try and sort that out. But what we'll do is we'll finish up for now because, my goodness me, an awful lot has happened and we are still alive. I mean, I don't think we've moved time on very much, but a lot of stuff has happened. So that is very, very good. So we're all still here. A little bit battered and bruised, but everybody is still alive. The base is pretty much back to how it was. We've filled in the hole there. I think they've repaired the, um, they've repaired the walls a little bit. Um, oh, no, they haven't. Not quite so much. Um, okay, never mind. Ignore me. They haven't repaired the walls quite as much as I thought. Also, there is a hole in the wall just here as well, which we do need to get sorted. But again, that's fine. That's not too bad. It's only going into here, and that's not too much of a bother at the moment because it's summer. And, um, and um, yeah, we've got some prisoners. Hopefully, they will not kill each other. <laughs> and um, we have to set them free at one point, and then that will improve relations with wherever the heck they've come from, which has got to be a good thing. And um, yeah, things are ticking over quite nicely again now. Hopefully we can get these extra little improvements built to our defences. That would be very, very useful. And um, and then, yeah, I think we need to concentrate on food next time. We're a little bit low on the food. We're not terribly low. It's not like we're awfully low, but we're a little bit low. I would like to have a tad more food, maybe double what we've got there. Get around 50 or 60 meals or so. That will be quite handy. So, um, so yeah, we'll have to see what we can do with that. I don't think there's much in the way of stuff growing there. Well, actually, there's some rice plants ready. So, um, so yeah, next time, maybe we will be able to get a little bit of extra food done. And then it's not going to be too long until this corn is done. And that will be able to produce a massive load of food. And because we're hunting, hopefully we'll have meat and we can make all the lovely kibble and everything will be marvellous. But we'll see how we get on next time out. Hopefully... You have enjoyed this. <laughs> This, this great escape, I think we should call it. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And of course, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in RimWorld. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. That's a kind of hammery thing. There's some sort of pliers. Oil filter. Yes, I found the oil filter. It's a murder weapon. That looks like it says brake fluid. I don't want to drink brake fluid. Toothpicks, spanners, a brown car. Why do all the cars look the bloody same? I'm not buying one of these. These are clearly awful.